So I'm here with Chris and Joy's Ford Transit Connect camper van here. It's a DIY camper van. They reached out to me to have me show it off here on the channel. The setup inside this thing is pretty incredible. It's really not like anything I've ever seen before. So we're gonna take a look at it. Before continuing on, I want to give a special thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you follow the link in the description below, you can get two free months of a subscription to Skillshare Premium. The first 500 people to click that link will get two months for free, and then after that it's only about $10 a month. I'm going to talk a little bit more though about Skillshare later in this video. So the van is a 2018 Ford Transit Connect XLT. They made quite a few modifications to the outside of the van here. They've got a roof rack on top along with a 100 watt rigid solar panel they also have a was it, a 270 degree awning you said right so 270 degrees it goes all the way around really really cool setup they also have a max air fan on the roof and they added three acrylic windows as well to the van I think maybe my favorite feature of this van here is that they originally designed it so that it could also be like a commuter vehicle, a daily driver. So they have the rear seats in here. This is a cargo van though, so it didn't actually come with these seats. They had to order them separately, have them shipped here, and then they installed them as part of the DIY conversion. So you have rear seats here, and then these come down and they form down to form like a platform area for sitting, and then they can also form part of the platform bed as well. So the rear passenger seat actually is designed to go into this divot. These Transit Connects have this like hole in the floor basically. It kind of dips in and it specifically is designed for these seats. So they made it so that they can fold the seat down and then it creates this sitting place where you can hang out and they basically just relocate one of the cushions for the bed to create a seating area in addition to the one that the camera is sitting on right now. It's a pretty open space, pretty nice to be able to hang out in here. The van does have a fridge here. It's a Dometic fridge and it's kind of similar to mine I guess in that it is just like like a slide out fridge and it has a little freezer compartment and everything like that in there. In terms of the layout in here, they're basically kind of going for like a Westphalia style design to an extent. So a lot of the cabinetry kind of takes on that Westphalia style. You can see on the outside, they have a couple of Ford Falia stickers as a little bit of a joke and they actually even call it like a fake California, I guess you could say. But the idea is that they used half inch plywood to build all the cabinets and then it's coated in a high pressure laminate. And then you also have this T trim that goes around all the doors and everything like that. It gives it a really nice professional look in here and just kind of really adds to the space I thought it was really neat so the cabinets are put together with a half inch uh, plywood with a high pressure laminate glued on both ends they give it a nice finish uh, everything's put together with what they call pocket screws uh, so there's no internal structure the plywood itself keeps it held together to create the finish is using the call in the T trim method which basically means that all the trim is actually held in by a groove that's cut in the middle of the wood and all the trim has a little piece that actually slides into that groove. In order to make things like the doors, what happens is you use a jig and a quarter inch router bit and you cut the hole out of the for the door. The hole then becomes the door and then what you do is you put this trim on it and you notice it's just slightly the door itself is smaller, but with the trim, it makes it bigger. And then it has special hinges and locking mechanisms to allow it to shut properly. Across from this little bench here, they have basically a full kitchen. You got two burner stove and a uh, and a faucet built in. Is this is a Dometic? Uh... Or it's a Dometic stove, yeah. It's a Dometic uh, unit, so it's got, like I said, the two-in-one. They also have this little faucet here, and it's pretty interesting. So there's a 10-gallon water tank in this van, which I'm sitting on top of right now. It's underneath this little bench. But they also keep a little two-and-a-half-gallon tank underneath the sink here, and that routes out directly to this faucet, and it specifically is for drinking water. So they can put filtered water in there, keep things clean. Say they're in somewhere where they don't necessarily have clean tap water, wherever that may be, they're able to use drinking water for here and then use the other one for their sink and for their shower system, which we're going to get to right now. So the 
shower here actually comes out the back and this is not just cold water this is a hot water shower so there is a three gallon hot water tank and an electric hot water heater that makes this nice and hot and like even right now it feels like i'm in like a shower in a regular bathroom it's pretty incredible so like this is all the way hot this is all the way cold so if i have it both take a second or two but yeah now stick your hand on it oh yeah it's perfect now it's perfect and so what you can do is you can mix it accordingly. So this is what we call the utility closet. It carries all the uh, appliance components of the van. So right up here we have our uh, 750 watt inverter converter unit both together. This is the back of the refrigerator of course. It's 12 volt only. Right here we have the three gallon, 12 volt water heater. We do have our two one gallon propane tanks. We do also carry an extra propane tank for using a camping stove if we need to. It is also vented outside. So any gases that release from the bottle for some reason or another will actually fall down this hole and actually will be released at the bottom preventing any propane from getting inside the vehicle. By removing this little shelf that I have, this gains access to one other component is the Propex heater, which also runs off of propane. And it's a heater for the entire cab. So from the inside here, you have a couple of different electrical components. This is the RV inverter slash charger here that Chris was just showing us from the other side. I also have the control for the propane heater as well. So this allows you to put on the heat. I believe they have it set up so that the heat comes out of two different places in the van. One is up here in the kitchen area, and then another is right below the bed, and obviously heat rises. So it apparently heats things up pretty nicely in here. It gets pretty toasty. And you also have a lighting system as well with little puck lights here, and they are on a dimmer, so it adds a nice little touch. You know, at night you can kind of dim the lights and everything like that make things a little more comfortable there's also AC outlets here that are connected to the inverter and the battery is a 100 amp hour lithium battery and that is charged both by driving the vehicle off the alternator and from the 100 watt solar panel on the roof So the bed setup process is pretty easy overall. Chris was actually saying that you can set it up from inside the van, but it is a little bit of a science. Like with my element, it was a little bit of a science figuring out how to set it up. But once you figure it out, it's not so bad. They have all these cushions and they fit in here really, really nicely. Like it's a very snug setup so that they don't really move around at all. They did say that the cushions are the only thing in this van that they didn't DIY. They, they cut the foam out themselves and they sent it to an upholsterer to get it nicely done. And it definitely is really nice though, like overall, very, very comfortable bed setup. As I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those of you that don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with a whole bunch of different courses that you can take to learn how to do basically just about anything. I've been taking one this past time around here about productivity and time management and how it relates to, you know, essentialism, it's what it's called. This course is taught by Greg McCown and there's a whole bunch of different courses about time management and productivity that you can take. And obviously there's a lot of other subjects as well, everything from photo editing to video editing to Adobe Illustrator, that's what I did last time and storytelling and everything in between there's a lot of really really great courses on Skillshare so if you haven't heard of them I would definitely recommend checking them out as I said earlier the first 500 people to click the link in the description below will get two free months of a subscription to Skillshare and then after that it's only about ten dollars a month thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring this video Thanks again, Chris and Droy, for letting us check out the van and the camper conversion. I just thought it was a really, really awesome conversion, guys. And it almost looks like it was, like, professionally done. Like, it looks like it's from a production line or something like that. Like, it was just out of a factory or something. They definitely paid a lot of attention to the little details, and they fit a lot of really awesome features in the van. And I think the best thing is, like, they didn't really have too much experience building vans before. That's the first time they ever done anything like that. Chris said he had done a little bit of woodworking and stuff throughout his life, but for the most part, like, they really didn't have too much experience. They were figuring this out on the go. They said they used a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of internet resources. 
And they also said that they kind of tried to model this after like a European style conversion to the point where they even got a lot of the parts from Europe. They were able to find better deals on some of these components like the uh, like the stovetop sink combo thing and then also the fridge and stuff like that. And they ordered it from Europe and they were actually able to get it cheaper. They said the total cost of the van was just under $10,000 to convert, which I thought was pretty affordable considering all the features between the heater and the electric heater and then the sink and the, you know, obviously the stove and the extra faucet and all these I mean they have so many different components the shower system inside this van that I thought it was pretty neat that they were able to keep the price that low and it took them about three months or so they said to build the entire thing and they actually showed me this like really awesome slideshow that they had with a bunch of different photos of the process while they were putting it all together and like I said just a really awesome conversion really awesome couple it was really great meeting you guys and I think that pretty much sums it up for this one before ending the video though I do have a special announcement to make next week I am planning to meet up with Lex and some of you guys will probably I remember I did a tour back in December of Lex's amazing Ram Promaster conversion and a lot of folks expressed interest in the comments about a build details video really just going into the nitty gritty of his build. He uses cross dowel construction, a lot of unique methods and we are planning to do an entire video dedicated to the build details of his camper conversion. So that's all going to be part of the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and be sure to hit that notification button as well so you get a notification when we do publish that video next Friday. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk Talk to y'all in the next one. Wait, is this gonna work if I spray it? No, yeah. it's not. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yes, all right. Just uh, slide that thing up and I'll spray up. Oh, up. Oh, jeez, oh, wow. I just got you all wet, I'm Don't sorry. Worry, <laughs> right, we're still recording for Yeah, we're still, we got that for your B-roll, That was man. bad, that was, <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Just spraying the van. <laughs>